This video will present a technique for casting of the transradial residual limb for a custom silicone supracondylar socket. The limb is first prepared by wrapping with plastic wrap which serves to pre-compress the tissue and is a separator from the plaster bandage. In this case, I chose to leave the epicondyles exposed because this person had very sensitive medial epicondyle, but that is not usually necessary. Next, apply a nylon casting sock. Now, measure the epicondyle width with the modified combination square as shown. Record this measurement. Take a circumference measurement just distal to the antecubital fold and record. Maintain the elbow at a 45 degree of flexion during the casting procedure. Wrap the limb with elastic plaster as shown. Be careful to apply the plaster to create a smooth cast. That is, there should be no roping that would create deep spots in the cast. The proximal edge of the plaster wrap should be about one and one quarter inch proximal to the epicondyles, both medially and laterally. The posterior wall should be approximately one and one half inch proximal to the olecranon, and the anterior wall should be just to the cubital fold. Make sure that the elbow is maintained in a 45 degree flexion angle throughout the casting. As the plaster sets, mold the plaster slightly proximal to the cut end of the radius. This will help relieve this sensitive area and create an intimate fitting to avoid loss motion during lifting. Remove and inspect the plaster impression. The cast is now ready to be filled with plaster. Cast modification will be demonstrated in another video.